Hello friends. All right, as we work on our art project together, we're gonna to be talking about the different elements of art. All right, the first one that we're gonna be doing together is color. So we're gonna be mixing painted papers and we're gonna be using magenta, which I don't have, I have red right now. And we're gonna be using um, cyan or a blue. And we're gonna be using yellow. Right. And when you mix these colors together, when you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. When you mix yellow and blue together, do you know what you get? That's right, you get green. And then when you mix um, blue and red together, what do you get? Purple! All right. This is a tool that we just made that artists use called a color wheel. And there's many other colors that you can put in between other kinds of um, red and purple together or many different oranges <clears throat> all the way, many different greens. But usually when artists talk about color, they're talking about something like this and they divide the color wheel in half. So these are called the warm colors. And if you think about the sun, you can think about that. These are the cool colors. If you think about things like the ocean or um, ice, you often see shades of blue and purple in there. And then we can add in green too. So cool colors, warm colors. The next thing we're gonna talk about are lines. Lines are very interesting. They can add a lot of texture to your work. So there are thick lines and curvy lines, thin lines, straight lines, zigzag lines, lines that curve and spiral, right? You can use all of those lines to make your artwork more interesting. And then we have shape. Shape is a line that is closed. It's not open. It's a line that touches itself. All right. And the last thing we're going to talk about is value. Value is how light or how dark a color is. So I have three, um, well, I have two different shades of blue and then I have some white. So I'm gonna start with my darkest shade of blue and I'm going to use less and less pressure on it. I'm gonna get lighter and lighter and you can see that it's dark here and light here, but you can even do um, a better blending if you have other colors to mix with it, other values of blue. So now I'm making a nice medium blue really dark blue over here, nice medium blue. And because I have white, I can add that to it and I can make a very, very light blue, okay? This is value. So we have color, color baby, color. We have value. We have shape. <laughs> we have line. And I always forget this one, we have texture. So let's say you're making a green tree. So we're gonna use this. And make an oval, a very simple tree. And I'm going to use the darker green to give this some texture. Texture can just be lines like this. It's the same thing that you do when you're trying to show how fluffy something is. You can touch it in real life. You can feel how fluffy it is, but this helps you see that it's got some parts that come out and some parts that go back and it tricks your eye into thinking it's fluffy. But when you touch it, it's not fluffy. It's flat because this is two dimensional art. All right, we're ready to begin. Thanks for watching.